This is who I am. Um, from Shibon, she never slowed down. As a child, she didn't crawl. So she got up and walked. Everybody were quite shocked that she walked at seven months. She's constantly amigo. She doesn't know when to stop, so. Massive personality to work with. Very, very incredibly strong character. She's very much a seized day kind of person. She doesn't let anything stop her. Kadena's really interesting because she's obviously, she's done athletics before her diagnosis. So I think a lot of her strength comes from the fact that she's had that mentality for years. So to her, it's no different. Like she has the work ethic, she has the commitment. She knows what it's like to set a goal and work towards it. So. And she's off and. And away they go. Here we go. Look at this, 0.723 under the, the required time for that gold medal. This is an incredible performance here, Katina Cox. Cox now beginning to put the foot down in lane seven. It's Cox in seven. She's going to break her own world record. She's not going to break it, she's going to annihilate it. Cox is moving up with 50 to go. Chen is fighting back for China. Cox is moving up. And Kadena Cox has done it! Gold in cycling, gold in athletics at the same Paralympic Games. And it's a new world record for Kadena Cox. It's fantastic. Paralympic history for the first time in a generation. Great Britain has a medalist in two sports. I think for me, so I was trying to do the two sport thing. Um, I knew going into Rio that I was able to do it. I was capable of doing it but actually doing it is a totally different thing. A lot of what I was planning to do wasn't just for me, it was for like for other people and to try and empower other people and just show other people with disabilities that they don't have to be held back by them. How's the knee? Sorry, I'm so last night. Do you know how before I had that really bad pain through the night? Yeah. I got that last night. So she was doing some training um, and essentially just landed awkwardly on her knee. And that is not uncommon. Obviously, you know, when you're training at the level that she is, she, you were always essentially trying to push the body a little bit further. I did lift. It was quite relatively heavier. But I, um... Obviously, I picked up an injury at the beginning of 2018, a lot worse than I initially thought, a lot worse than everybody initially thought. Um, I picked up bone and cartilage damage in my knee. For five months down the line, I'm still getting pain in it, so... So what I'm wondering, as you know, so this... My MS, I've got relapsing remitting MS. Um, relapse, where, like, things are going badly, so you have relapse where your body's been attacked by your immune system. Um, so I'm on, like, symptom medications for my spasms and my altered sensation. So I'm, like, taking medication daily to make sure, like, I can control my spasms a little bit better. And then I'm on... Um, a daily injection to try avoid having too many more relapses. I just live each day like as it comes, like I just enjoy it for what it is because with my condition I just don't know what's going to change like day to day so just like accept it for what it is and just kind of enjoy it and it's meant that like I've just took on challenges that most people wouldn't take on. I just thought well I might not be here to do it like next year or the year after so I'm going to go for it anyway. to Tokyo 2020. World's eight medalists join us in the five-year Paralympic documentary series, season three.